tell me how the uh, how the death of, of the old West came about. Okay, well, we're both uh, myself and Will Boggs, my colleague. We're both uh, Ada residents, and we've been around Ada most of our lives. And of course, uh, it's an infamous tale in Ada about the uh, the 1909 hanging. And so, being filmmakers, we decided that we ought to try and do something about it. Uh, we looked around, and no one had ever tried to tackle the uh, story, or even though there was material out there as far as newspaper clippings, and uh, there were some books that were written about it. So we just started to research it, and uh, the more we got into it, the more interesting it became. And so we basically uh, tried to distill all the information that was out there, and some of it, of course, is you know over 100 years old now, uh, but we combed through archives and we contacted descendants of people who were directly involved and got their stories and and just did did the best we could to take a it's a very unique and it's a complicated story uh, but it's you know it's fact it's fa it actually happened it's an incredible historical event but we took all the information we could and and uh, turned it into a uh, documentary. In January 1902, the Shawnee Herald published a slanted account of the incident under the headline, Killed by Indians. Word was received from Violet Springs of the shooting of Martin West, a 13-year-old boy, by Cephas Bruner. Took it to uh, PBS in Oklahoma City and, and showed it to them, OETA, and showed it to them. And, and uh, they liked it. They suggested that we shorten it. And so we did. We went back to the drawing board, if, if you will, and and uh, we cut it down to 30 minutes. And it's a it's a real strong 30 minutes, and you get the story. We feel like, and um, after that, they took it uh, and offered it to a national PBS audience. And and from there, from there, it's gone on to uh, so far. It's only been available for two months. Uh, the first two months of its four-year run, it's. It's already uh, been shown in 30 of the 50 states, and it's been shown in several Canadian provinces. So uh, we're getting a great response from around the country. Um, tell, tell me a little bit about the uh, the significance significance of this in Ada history. Is it is it a kind of a source of pride or shame or just history? <clears throat> well, because of the nature of the event, some people uh, feel pride in it. Some people. Uh, feel shame in it, and we tried to capture that in our documentary. Uh, there are people uh, in Ada who um, would be happy if it never happened, and of course there are there are people in Ada who uh, who think it's an, an interesting and exciting event. Uh, but for the most part, it's just history. You know, it's not really anything you you can look back on at this point and judge. I don't think that you know uh, that's that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're just trying to present it as something that, as an episode in history, and try to we tried to present both sides, just like a good newspaper uh, story would do, and just kind of give people the facts and let them decide for themselves. 